today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for another what yet another first impression I did a first impression with the lilac you lost palette from Colourpop and I said it's going to be quite many first quite many first impressions now for a while because I have some palettes at home that I want that like stresses me out that I haven't used so today we are taking another one and I am going to continue with the Colourpop ones and this is the whatever palette from Colourpop it looks like this so it is 12 pants and it's kind of a red palette it has two shades I think that are not supposed to be in the eyes and that is bad guy this one and mr. bright side and as you see this palette is quite dark it's quite reddish so I'm going to do something dark I think I have like no clue whatsoever what I want to do so I think we just get started I'm going to try to make this a really deep fully dark look I will try my best so let's just do this I will start with maybe later this one and take it in my crease and I haven't swatched this because for some reason I am not the swatcher I don't know why because sometimes I feel like I need to be so I'm going to use this in my crease This was really pigmented and I think I want my I don't know if this palette is a limited edition. I never know with Colourpop's palette anymore. <laughs> because like the last year they have released so many new things and collections and everything and I like can't keep up whatsoever I never know what is limited edition or anything so I don't know I bought this in the bundle with the sweet talk palette I think and I don't know if the Sweet Talk palette is a limitation palette either, but I sometimes feel it's a little bit hard with Colourpop because they do, um, they are not limited edition at first, they don't like, hey this is limited edition, but then like a couple months in, <laughs> it's like limited edition, you have to tell from the beginning, please Colourpop. I like it actually and it's now I have like no idea 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 whatsoever I think I want to use one of the shimmers it looks like this the is a pressed glitter yes I don't want to use that because then I'm going to have glitter all over my face so we have this Ooh, this is really nice this one as well so I want to take one of so I want to take one of these three on my lid. Maybe I could swatch them for you. Ooh. That was like a super bad swatch. Okay, so these are the three shimmers. So one of these I want to use. And I think I might go in with the orange one and take like... Maybe cut my crease and do really deep out here. I think I want to do a pretty like simple look to continue with then. And I think I will take... Bad guy and deepen down my crease. And then go in with Mr. Bright Side out here. And then go in with... I think I will take not okay and try to do something really nice but I will start with bad guy and take a deeper down one crease with it and then take a kind of smaller 
this is maybe too small. I will take this instead. And did you think I have washed my brushes? I have not done this like. The only thing that is good with not washing my brushes is that I use brushes that I normally don't use. I get like the use out of my brushes, but some of these brushes I don't use because I don't like them. But I like do clean my brushes, but I only do like the speed cleaning with alcohol, so yeah. I really should like do clean, but do you know how boring it is? Maybe I would watch Annette put up a one hour long video yesterday when I'm recording this and I haven't had the time to watch it yet, so I might put on her long video and clean my brushes. Yeah, I might do that today. That is actually a good plan. I think you really care what I'm talking about. Oh no, you don't. I still really like this. I think it's what I want. So I'm going in with Mr. Bright Side. This one that is not intended for the eyes and take it. We will see how dark it, this is. If it's super, super dark, I might go in with bad guy instead. But we will see and I think this is not intended for the eye area because I think this will stain and oh my god, this was dark and really pigmented. Holy hell. Okay, I... <clears throat> this is me liking things. <clears throat> and I have one problem if I'm going to do a lot of first impressions because I don't know what to talk about. Because I still want to keep it like somewhat to the palette. And okay. Maybe I should quit putting this on. But this was like an amazing shade. I am super impressed. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I don't think I'm ever going to get this off my brush. Because of course I used a brush with light bristles what is my problem I don't know okay I really <sighs> like do you see this this is like freaking amazing I don't know why I am so surprised because I usually like color pops palettes but this is like so deep and it's just like opaque. It's not patchy, it's... I really love it. I just want to take it all over my lid, but I am not going to do that. And I think that the shimmer that I want to take on the rest of my lid not okay is going to be really good with this so i hope and this feels really really creamy so i'm going to try to slap it on without a glitter primer that is one thing i can feel is a little bit hard with the color pop that the shimmers are really different in terms of how they work and not only like if they are toppers but some like this one I could be done now this is like just as amazing as the Mr. Bright side that I have on the rest of my lid I love this maybe I should have taken so much but 
if it's two things I really love, it is like orange and red and right now I really really love dark shades and maybe because it is fall I don't know but I don't know I just want to slip on some dark eyeshadow and then take dark almost black lipstick that is what I want right now and this palette is giving me everything that I want and I love how this not okay can be like on top of this Mr. Bright side and don't look messy. I will go in with the brush I had Mr. Bright side on but not take any additional colors because it, is, it was so pigmented. But I just want to fix this a little bit more. Okay, I give this 10 out of 10 right now because I am in love with this. I'm just going in with, I think I will take a little, little of bad guy on a small bl blending brush and just tap it a little bit and then tap it off and then go in like right here. I love when I am so surprised by a Colourpop palette because this is not an expensive palette and this is... I just really like it. So I have quite a lot of fallouts because I just... that's just how I do makeup so I'm going to take that away and fix my base and I think I want to do it really dark on my lower lash but then I actually think I might go in with this in my inner corner I will swatch it with this was cream as well and yeah this is, might be like more of a topper shade yeah so <laughs> I'll take away the fallouts fix my base and then we continue with this look and I am so looking forward to choose a lipstick for this actually because I just I just want to complete this look because right now I am so pleased with how this is looking. Maybe a little bit too pleased, a little bit, maybe a little bit too much excited for this. I don't know, but I will be back. Time for my under eyes and I had been thinking a little bit. I will go in with maybe later this one. And put it and we will see where I will go from there. I might no not this maybe later. No. <laughs> I go in with bad guy, this one. And we will see where we will go from there. There. What how I feel and now it's cat hair on the brush. So I will smudge this and yeah. We will see if I want to do something more. I think this might be enough actually. I just want to take Mr. Brightside. It is not Mr. Brightside, it's Miss Brightside. Love that I said it wrong the whole time. Miss Brightside. And take it just here. So I'm sorry for all of you that has been annoyed with me for calling it a Mr. Brightside when it's Miss Brightside. I'm so sorry. I can't blame this for not like English is my first language. I just can blame this on I'm lazy. So <laughs> I will put something in my wash line and I am either taking something to match the orangey rust thing or take a red. I think I might take a red just because 
I want to have this really really dark. So we will see and I also would put on, would put on, would put on mascara and also a lipstick. Don't know which one yet, but it's going to be dark. And I think I know which one. So I will fix the last things and then I'll come back. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used faux blacks from NYX in Oxblood. I can never like remember the name of that. And then for my lips I used Unspoken from Nabla. Oh, this is perfection, if I can say it so. So, this is my first impression look with a whatever palette from Colourpop. And I... <laughs> I love it. I have used... I didn't take anything in my inner corner, but you know what? I don't think I need it. So, I have used four shades. And for me, that really love darker colors and red colors this is really good it is not any more expensive than Colourpop, Colourpop's other 12 pen palettes and this not okay it's super okay I love it so much do you like see how it looks in here without any glue glue or anything and this Miss Bright Side it's an amazing deep deep shade I am so happy with this how I am so happy with how this look turned out. This was exactly what I wanted to do. It feels like it has been a lot of pastel and light looks the latest here on my channel. So I just wanted to go back to the deep, dark. I just love that. So I can really recommend this after only using four shades. But I would definitely buy this for the four shades I've used. I might though think it has a little bit much of brownish, like this Copycat Pink Slip Pass It On in bold. I don't know if it needed all of these, maybe not Copycat and Pink Slip for example, but other than that I really like it. I don't like that it's pressed glitter because we don't, yes, maybe that would have been cool to take in my inner corner. It would, wouldn't it? If I can see myself with that in my inner corner, but do I want to have a pressed glitter in my inner corner, or do I? Maybe I should actually try that. But it's going to get stuck like everywhere. That's why I don't like it, and maybe it will get into my eye socket. So, um, my, no, no. So yeah, my first impression of this is really good. I am happy that I bought it. And if you are like me and like deeper colors that are more to the red side, I think you should buy it. I don't know if I like the like whatever. I think of like Mean Girls for some reason. I don't know why. But I like the palette. I am happy that I finally bought it. And... This is going to be a palette I will use a lot now in the fall, I think. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. And this was all for this first impression. And yes, it will come more. I have uh, a more uh, palettes to go. I will see what will come up next. But yeah, I really hope you like this video. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!